Hello everyone, welcome to some sort of bite size bit game. <laughs> I don't know. It's Poofy! That's what I forgot. Anyways, hello. Um, we're playing Depaneur Nocturne, which is something uh, nightfall. I have no idea what the Depaneur means, but Nocturne is like nightfall. Nocturnal. Um, it's a game I found on itch.io. It, I think it was in a bundle, even. I'm going to make sure to put the link down in the description. Anyways, let's just play this game. There we go. It's some sort of relaxing kind of... What I know, read about it, is that you have to... Uh, move around. That's what you can do. Look at look look at everything. It's This art style is what I... Truly enjoy what's going on here. There's some hands. Can we go through the door? No, we cannot. Um, what we need to do is uh, depaneur. There we go. We are going to buy a gift in this store. Bonsoir. Uh, good evening. Don't be shy. Come over here where I can see you. Will do. This is amazing. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Uh, I have a feeling you're looking for something specific. Since you braved the downpour to come here. Uh, that's right. A désolé, je ne comprends pas. What? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Okay. No, that's right. My partner's been working a lot of late nights. I want to surprise her with something when she gets home. We're new around here, and yours was the only place I could find that was still open. Ah, oh, how sweet. I'll ignore how you just implied you're only visiting my fine establishment out of desperation. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Your place really does look nice. Eh, no problem. I was only teasing you. Anyway, I've got baking soda, paper towels, crackers... But I also have some unusual things on my shelves that might make good gifts. Go ahead and browse. Just bring over anything you're curious about and I'll tell you about it. With that rope work outside, nobody's coming by anyway. I'm not exactly busy. Ah. Move the radio? Oh yeah, now turn it up, man. I like this tune. What is this? Help yourself to those tarts. They're getting stale and I haven't had anyone buy in hours. Don't mind if I do then. Oh, yeah, you were hungry. <laughs> I was because I ate everything. This is so cool. What is that? Coffee? No, the coffee is complimentary. Help yourself. Why, thank you. Do I... Wait. Do I get a cup? There we go. Look, 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 look. Put that back. Put a lid on. Drink it. Don't throw it. Oh, wait. Now you can throw it. In the trash can. Very good. What is this? I've got no charge for this. A change for this. Okay, anything here? What is notes? It. It's hard to tell from the opening paragraph whether this is an apology or a conspiracy theory or both. It's an advertisement for a local portaling service. This is so cool. What is that? A commemorative poster from the 1997 Dream Pavilion. First you had to be there to really get it. Savory shofus. Have it hot. What is that? What is this? An inspection lantern. Standard issue lantern for Metro Inspectors. I found this one at the sub-basement where we had some of the old pipes replaced, I guess. It's constantly flickering. I can't figure out how to turn it off. But I've had it for ages. 
So I guess the battery life is really good. Do you want to buy it? Uh, no. Alright, no problem. I want to take a little look around here. Uh, still, Gishe, is this like ATM? As you can see, the poor Gishe has a fever. Technology always seems to do strange things around me. I don't know what it is. It's a breeze. Or brise. Sorry, it's broken. What's that? A coin? A coin? I noticed another one. Two coin? What do we get? This is so cool. What is that? What? What? Where do I place these? Can I place them some? Oh my god, this store is big. Another coin. What is this? What? Oops, kind of clumsy, huh? Careful now, but I want to break it. Please do try and keep my goods on the shelves, though. I'm sorry. You got what? It's an orchid doll. These little figurines are handmade by artists in the orchid region. Every one of them is unique. They each represent a different minor deity in the always growing orchid pantheon. Do you want me to put this in a bag for you? Yes, please. I'll just bag this for you and you keep looking around. Uh, just let me know when you're finished. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. But there's more. I got more coins. Swing. I love these. <laughs> They're so cool. That's an orca doll. Uh, should I tell you about it again? No, thank you. You want me to put it in a bag? Yes, please. Sure, I'll just put it away. You can keep shopping. There's some shirts here. This is pretty awesome. Oh, that's it. So, what is this? What is what is this? This is a bust of Jandru Quain. He was a notorious urban planner. He's either a hero or a villain, depending on which side of downtown you live in. I keep seeing these in people's window sills, but I think they're putting them there ironically. You want me to buy it? Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll bag it and add it to your total. Oh, I can buy everything. I want this one too then. Want it all. Uh, no thanks? Sure. Everything. I want it all. There's another coin. Pick it up. What is this? A mask? Cool. It's on sale. An armored mask. This will keep your snout safe, or I guess it might take a, uh, make a good costume. That's my great aunt. She used to be the captain of the city's first women's slut jousting team. It doesn't really have a se any sentimental value, though. She has lots of them. She asked me to get rid of her old stuff, and she cleaned out the garbage. You want to buy it? Yeah. Yeah, I want it. So what else do we have here? What is oh, that's milk? Why is there so much junk here on the floor? Is this? Those are boxes, aren't they? Is there anything else here? No. Oh. Trousers, shorts, pants, underwear, bikini. What are these? Improbable excursion. These were all the same movie. Casual whiskey. What's going on here? Is this the... Oh. What is that? Drinks? A bottle of mushroom milk. I love this stuff. I drink it straight, but I'll admit it's an acquired taste. It's earthy. Like the smell of fresh rain. I put it in my coffee. Hey, it seems like you're struggling to find the perfect gift. Only, I notice that you've bar brought me the most unusual objects from my shelves. Well, I have an idea. I can help you out. 
I practice a particular kind of div divination based on objects. I think even inanimate things have a destiny. Some are just supposed to en end up. I try to shepherd these objects to their intended owners. You don't get much opportunity to practice it these days, but maybe with my talents I could help you find what you're looking for. Are you interested? Sure. Alright, I have a room in the back with some stranger objects I've collected. Meet me there and I can help you. The door is in the back of the fridge. It's through there. Come around and I'll unlock it. As for that, do you want to buy it? Yes. Sure. But there's more stuff here. There should be more stuff here. I'm not done yet. Victoire d'érable. Boisson sans alcool. Okay, so this is a uh, drink without alcohol. Val de Luxe. What is this? Turnip? Sure. Why not? I want to buy this turnip, please. That's a turnip. Starchy tuber. Uh, I picked this one myself. I find them sometimes when I tie to the family plot in the mountain cemetery. They grow wild there. They're actually sort of invasive. I got that one three years ago. Hasn't aged a day. I think it must be haunted. I bet it would make a great soup. You want to buy it? Yeah. Absolutely. Give me all the haunted stuff. Haunted turnips. What the heck? What else do we have? This is like slippery thing. Drinks. Water. Beer. Beer. It's even bigger on the inside. What the heck? I can see the whole shop from here and somewhere else. What is this? This is a vintage data protection charm. I wonder if it still works. That door is locked. Um, a bunch of snapshots. Previous visitors, maybe? Oh, ah, you've arrived. Welcome to my collection. Holy crap. What are you? That's weird. That's Bap, the goddess of luck, poverty, and random fortune. That's Thedul, the goddess of music, drugs, and celebration. That's Vala, the goddess of discipline, courage, and daring. This is Louster, the goddess of loot, influence, and good deals. This is Agramona, the goddess of romance, family, and generosity. Aonis, the goddess of interiors, time, and the cosmos. Interesting. It's my great grandfather from my dad's side, in front of the family homestead in the old country. It's my parents, taken just before I was born, I think. Aren't they adorable? It's my grandma from my mother's side. She was the last real witch in the family. Learned a lot from her. It's me and my little sister. She's an artist. She lives out in the orchids now, so I don't see her as much as I'd like. You can probably guess who that is. I'm such a little dork. It's my grandpa on my mom's side and his dance team. So you're all lizards? Welcome. So here's what I'm thinking. All of these objects are adrift in the world. They're looking for their owner. I can tell that one of them is meant for your partner. Bring me anything from this collection, I can tell you about it. But you have to be the one to make the decision about whether it's the right one for your partner. Huh. Yeah, I, I kind of like that one. Look at that. Ah, the skull of urine. We don't really know who she was, only that she left very specific instructions that her bones should end up somewhere cool. If you think you know a good place for this, I'm willing to entrust you with it. I, I kinda do. Should I tell you about it again? Or is this your gift? Wait, never mind. What did you say? Does this call to you? Oh, should I tell you about it again? Or is this your gift? Okay, I'm gonna check the others first. 
put that back. I'm sorry, these are precious. Please try not to drop them. The jeweled chalice. This was originally meant for a honey pouring ritual. It's fully blessed and warded. It's a nice solid cup. If I made root beer floats in it. This is a sword. That's a bully knife. A classic one. Neighborhood thos, thogs used to start around with these tucked into their sashes. It's just for show and the blade is dulled. The important part is the look of the hilt. Some old timers still carry them around. These days they go for fancy ones with blades made out of quartz or ceramic. It's an egg. The precious big egg. It's a beautiful egg from an unknown mother, maybe a cockatrice? The seal prevents it from hatching indefinitely. But if you chose to remove that seal and incubate it, you could find out what's waiting to hatch. Of course, you had to feel confident you could take good care for whatever is inside there. Oh, What is this? A votive animal figure. It depicts a benevolent four-legged mammal bearing a gift of fish. When good luck's come your way, you're meant to throw a figure like this into the bog. It's a thank you gift for the wild spirits. Oh, that also resonates with me. What is this? Like a worm? The habitat orb? There's a little worm in there, peacefully dreaming. It's very rejuvenating to be near a creature that's so comfortable. The ball is in a closed system with its own atmosphere. The worm has such a small, slow metabolism that it will sleep in there for years. Well, very familiar now with everything in the collection. If you could choose one thing from here to take home with you, what would it be? Let the object speak to you. Well, it's for my partner, isn't it? Yeah, I think she'll love that one. A skull of yarn. Uh, this is my gift. Is it what you want? I want you to be certain. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Alright, I believe you. It's done. This is yours now. You made an interesting choice. This skull has aspects of legacy, of leaving something behind, of looking back on one story. Do you think you and your partner should think about where you've come from? Perhaps she has some accomplishments she could pause and reflect on. That's just my interpretation, though. I'm really happy I've been able to practice my craft on you. There's just one more thing we have to do. Hold on a moment. I like to keep a record of the people I helped. Ready for your portrait? Smile! A successful expedition. Back to the apartment. I think she'll like this. Hello, my bichette. Welcome back, creature. Long night, huh? I actually got home before you did for once. Oh, what's this? You brought me something. What weird little dolls. They're cute. I love them. Oh, no, I, I didn't get all the dolls. Oh, I've seen these before. They're all different, right? We're going to name this one Button. You got me a turnip? That's nice. You can make a soup out of it. Looks pretty huge, actually. Oh, some mushroom milk. I haven't had that in ages. I think it's really tasty, though. Who's this guy? Looks like some kind of official. It'll look great in my porcelain head collection. You really got a bunch, huh? Wow, nice looking lantern there. We could go exploring with this. Amazing. You went all out. Sports equipment? <laughs> You're funny, Shuttle. It looks pretty cool, actually. And I appreciate that you need that you think I need extra protection. <laughs> this is so much. And something else? Oh, something special. Someone's skull. It's a bit grisly. I think we should honor it by putting it in a quiet little niche or something. I've put her in a place of honor. Rest in peace, you beautiful soul. It's great to have a quest for this alcove. But 
Really, I'm just glad you're home. Now give me a hug. Oh. Where are my, where are my little dolls? Where, where are the little dolls? Oh boy. Oh, here we go again. Well, that's that's apparently that's dip on a nocturne. Um, yeah, you can buy different stuff and then get different endings. That's really cool. So if you want to play the game yourself, link is down below. Make sure to put it there. And thank you very much for watching this bite-sized bit. Depaner Nocturne. And I will see you next time.